evening and welcome to a very special SWE Fury. My name is Bob Malden here to guide you through a night where we have a lot to unpack here. First thing though, is I want to welcome in all of our new viewers in Dallas-Fort Worth as we now are in a new time. 10 p.m. on CW33. We'd like to thank our affiliate CW33 for this great new time slot and say a uh, fond hello to all of our new viewers in Dallas, Texas at this new time. Around the world, though, we want uh, to kind of unpack what's been going on here the last few weeks, and it's a lot. Last week marked the debut of Enzo on SWE Fury, and that match ended controversially as Enzo ended up in a Dallas, Texas hospital. We're going to show you that match now in its entirety. That was edited for TV originally. That match will show in its entirety here in just a few moments. Also, before we're done tonight, you will see the cage match. Moonshine Mantel, Max Castellanos. Will this be the end of that feud? I sure hope so. The cage is going up at Eddie Dean's before this episode is over. Let's get started. SWE Fury starts right now. That match, Enzo and Ivan Warsaw in its entirety right here. Going to be an interesting match here to see these two. Look at that ring attire of Enzo, who's making his way to the ring now. Don't you have a pair of pajamas like that, Bobby? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Somewhere in the back of the drawer. Oh, they pull those out for special occasions, you know what I mean? Yeah. Didn't you pack them this weekend? I did not. It wasn't enough room in the bag. It's a, it's a hefty outfit. Crowd is on their feet trying to get a better view of the, of the superstar, Enzo, in the ring here to face Ivan Warsaw. Hey, wait a minute. Warsaw trying to get this thing started while Enzo's taking his time here, locking it up in the middle of the ring here for the first time. And dare I say the last time at Eddie Dean's. Demolition at Dean's, not just the name, last public event being held here in this great facility with a, over 30 years of history in downtown Dallas. And what a way that to, to send this place off by quite literally tearing down the house with SWE Fury. Bound to happen, you know. Wow. Warsaw disposing of Enzo again. Wow. These two very evenly matched, Kevin Sullivan. I'm very interested in uh, Enzo's attack here. Uh, he's overpowered. He's outweighed. He's shorter than his opponent, but he has this special quality that he doesn't seem to be able to give up. Uh, this guy's, to me, the people told you how much they think of him before he got in the ring, our first oh. appearance. Oh, wow. Well. Grabbing the head and taking him over. Is Warsaw there? Oh, it tries to throw him off the ropes there, but Warsaw's got it. Got it locked in. Is he bleeding from the nose? We're back to Texas wrestling, aren't we? Yes, sir. Glad to see that Enzo can bring some Texas wrestling to us here. It was, that was a great amateur move by Enzo. He must have an amateur background as he floated behind him and got on top to get the headlock. That he did. Take over. Nice move by Wausau. Wausau has a very good basics. And he keeps his opponent down. And he, t he doesn't give him too much time to breathe. Wausau is bleeding from the mouth. Looks like uh, maybe more than one place there. Texas wrestling. Good grief. Brutal match here as they all are in SWE Fury. It doesn't matter if it's a women's match or a, a non-title match or what type of match it is. This match is a non-title match. This is a match to, to see a couple of great talents in action here and what a great matchup it is. And do you remember, remember I just said uh, Enzo go, must have an amateur background? He went right behind him. Great move, and he's flying, man, too. Yeah, double great. I, I'm very impressed on the first showing of Enzo. Very impressed. Couple of great drop kicks there. Warsaw rethinking this thing as Enzo's 
Standing dominant in the ring right now as Warsaw looks on. He might have a broken nose. Yeah, I think you're right. You can see where he's bleeding profusely from one nostril. So Enzo must have got an elbow in there or maybe a cross face. Yeah, he's, he's bleeding pretty good. Warsaw back in the ring. Trying to psych out Enzo there a little bit. They lock up again. Thing back to square one here. Headlock being backed into the corner. Referee trying to make a clean break here. Warsaw goes back behind and does that drop toe hold into the middle turnbuckle pad there. Bob, I'm, I'm surprised by both these guys the basics in amateur wrestling that they apply. These guys are very, very talented. And Wausau, I'm very surprised that. You know, and as far as I know, this is the first time these guys have actually faced off against each other, and they act like they have a chip on their shoulder coming into this match, like there may be something, something more there that... Well, well if they didn't, they got it now. Wausau's nose is broken. Yes, absolutely. Whoa, good grief. Drops his arm over that top rope there. I am very impressed by Wausau. What about you? Absolutely, totally agree. He gets a pin there on Enzo. I, I thought that uh, Wausau was actually going to be a trial horse for Enzo. Well, he's holding more than his own. If the match was stopped right now and went to the scorecard, I think you'd have to give it to Wausau. Yeah. Yeah, Enzo being driven arm first into that turnbuckle there, though, uh, as, again, we see Warsaw going to work on a body part. And he's wrestling. Yep, something that you've uh, mentioned a couple of times, <laughs> becoming more common here in SWE Fury, picking apart a body part. And that's exactly what Warsaw is doing to Enzo here. Oh, no, don't do that. Good grief, driving. The knee into the, the arm there. That elbow of Enzo. But everything's legal, Bob. Everything he's doing is legal, which makes it that much more impressive to me. Well, he hasn't broken any rules just yet. And there's no rule against the knee to the face. You, you he's know, gotta watch those closed fists. You know what I can only say right now to Enzo? Welcome to Texas wrestling. Yes, sir, he's getting a proper Proper welcome here tonight against Ivan Warsaw. The Polish man who is here, his family, Polish warriors, and he's here tonight. Oh, good grief. Enzo, some forearms to the face, trying to like almost straight to that nose that's bleeding profusely. He, he, he got a tackle in it, it looked like Bob. From our angle here, we couldn't really tell what happened. Collision of some sort there. Enzo did get some sort of offense in. And whoa, Hopper sending that leg there of Warsaw, taking advantage of whatever injury that was he caused a moment ago. Wow. Oh, what a whoa. good move. I haven't ever seen that. There's a way to use those ropes. Crowd cheering and getting behind Enzo here in his debut match at SWE Fury. Oh boy, here he goes, taking him outside. Gonna make use of that corner post now. And uh, oh no, I was gonna say, Enzo, that's not like where you used to work. Those are, those are squared off. Those, those are not round. Those angles can do a lot more damage on that squared corner post here of the SWE Fury ring. He doesn't care, here he goes again. Good grief. I can almost feel the pain of that. Enzo has a real unconventional style of wrestling. It would be hard to study for, for get a match for him. You almost don't know what to prepare for, do you? Right, it's like, you know, we, after you wrestle a guy, uh, at least scout tapes, you have an idea where he's gonna start and go to. 
with, with Enzo, it's, he's all over the place. He's all over the map. Enzo was trying to get all over that top rope there when Warsaw fell into the referee, who then fell into the rope, causing Enzo to fall down in, in not such a nice way there across the top of that turnbuckle. Warsaw back to work on Enzo now, who's draped across that, that top turnbuckle. Whoa. Uh, what are we going to do here? This is not... It's not good. Oh, good grief. Oh, Dead red suplex oh. off the top rope. I guess Warsaw was on the second rope. Enzo was sitting on the top rope there. But Bob, whether he wins or loses, Warsaw, his uh, credibility has gone up miles in SWE Fury right now. Oh, he no just question missed about that. it. He was so close there. Almost holding my breath there as he almost defeated Enzo here in that debut match. I mean, maybe Enzo took him lightly, you know, you know, I, I don't know, but Warsaw's taking it to him. Absolutely, and if you like seeing the stars of SWE Fury live in action, June 19th, Irving Convention Center, you don't want to miss SWE Fury Fest. And uh, we've dropped this name many times. Kevin Nash is saying he's going to be there. What will he be doing? How will he be a part of Fury Fest? You need to find out how you can be a part of it. SWEFury.com. I'm very interested in catching up with Kevin Nash. You and uh, that guy go way back, don't yeah. you? Yes, we do. And Kevin uh, is a connoisseur of everything. And just having him to come raises our reputation. Warsaw picking apart Enzo, rolls him over now, goes for a pin, one, two, and oh, just barely, just barely, just barely. Enzo with all the fight he has left. I don't even know how he got out of that, but he's, he's managing now to somehow Mustered the energy to get at least to his knees, and Warsaw's right back there. B Bob, do you feel the crowd is shocked at how well Warsaw's doing? Yes, feel that very, very much so. You can, you can feel the energy in the air here tonight. At this, Demolition at Dean's. At Eddie Dean's, downtown Dallas. This is one of those things with Warsaw, you can't judge a book by his cover. Enzo, you better start moving, my man. Yeah, Warsaw going up there. Look, he was trying to go for a suplex up there on that second rope. Enzo using his head now. And oh. by that, I mean literally using his head. And there he goes, Warsaw. What's Enzo doing? Let's, top rope. Let's hope he doesn't miss. He's on the top rope. What's it going to be? Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Wow. Have you ever seen a Katie DDT ba like that? Never. Katie by the door. This one going to be over. Oh, he's out of the ring. Warsaw rolls out of the ring now. I don't know how there could be anything left of him. I don't even know. I got the energy to roll. I don't think he has the energy to get back in the ring. Enzo, I wouldn't go out there in no man's land. That had to take something out of him, too, Bob. Enzo. Pursuing Warsaw around the ring. Oh, oh. three ring steps. Ring steps, I heard them. Oh my gosh, cameraman nearly taken out there. He's getting Enzo went into those ring steps. You couldn't see it because it was at, under the feet of our cameraman. Oh no. Well, tit for tat. DDT of his own, this time on the concrete floor of Eddie Dean's. My goodness. I am so impressed by this Wausau. He got stamina for a big guy. He's got strength. And he's got, obviously, an amateur background. And professionally, he doesn't miss a move. Uh, but on a rare occasion. So this guy came to fight Enzo, and he, there it is. Oh, no. 
the bell rings. Enzo is out. Wow. This is a unique situation. All right, wait a minute. Now the uh, referee giving the sign that Enzo needs help. Teddy Long is out at the ring. Let's get the cameras down there. I want to see what's going on here. Bob, th this sort of reminds me of the Mike Tyson dust the bug dust the dust the bust the Douglas fight. He was a big uh, Warsaw uh, makes his way to the back. He's leaving. He was a big underdog. I would have thought, didn't you? Uh, yeah, and uh, but Enzo is is down, apparently out from that DET on the concrete. We're waiting to see. Wow, Tom Lance, our... Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by the referee that this has been ruled a time limit draw. You know, I'm not gonna. The referees have. The referees have a very tough job, but I think that decision is wrong. That decision should have been a no contest, a double count out, but not a time on the draw. Now, I wish we could. Uh, we, we've got. Can we get a camera to a, at least give us some sort of an idea of what's going on at ringside right now? Not sure if our uh, if we're able to do this. Whoa! The, wow, they've got Enzo on a on a stretcher, and they're leaving with him. And as you saw, that match ended with Enzo being carried out of that building and taken to a Dallas hospital. And now we would like to show you a special message from Enzo himself. This is after being released from the hospital. Here's that message from Enzo. I'm out of the hospital now, but I'm sure you read the headlines. Enzo Amore, DDT'd on concrete at SWE Fury Show by Ivan Warsaw. Huh. Well, I would like to thank all the fans for their prayers. Pennies from heaven is what I call them. But if we're talking change, huh, let me tell you something. If I had a dime for every time I got knocked out and didn't get back up, I would have. Oh, we had him here. Zero dimes! North Texas, get ready. SWE Fury presents North Texas Fury Fest, Saturday, June 19th, at the Irving Convention Center in Irving, Texas. North Texas, get ready. SWE Fury presents North Texas Fury Fest, Saturday, June 19th, at the Irving Convention Center in Irving, Texas. Enjoy live, in-your-face, Texas-style pro wrestling. A few of the superstars you can see and meet are WWE Hall of Fame members Kevin Nash, Teddy Long, Bushwhacker Luke, all the SWE champions, Big Kaz XL, Milena, Enzo, The Boogeyman, Lacey Von Erich, Mel Muertes, and many others. For more information and tickets, visit SWEFury.com.
Texas Fury Fest, Saturday, June 19th at the Irving Convention Center in Irving, Texas. Enjoy live, in-your-face, Texas-style pro wrestling. A few of the superstars you can see and meet are WWE Hall of Fame members Kevin Nash, Teddy Long, Bushwhacker Luke, all the SWE champions, Big Kaz XL, Melina, Enzo, The Boogeyman, Lacey Von Erich, Mel Muertes, and many others. For more information and tickets, visit SWEFury.com. Well, as we know, Deimos uh, is always accompanied to the ring by Teal Piper. House of you had a chance to watch the a &E biography on her dad, Roddy Piper. You saw a little bit of Teal Piper in that. Ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring, accompanied by Teal Piper from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, from the House of Heathens, this is Demo! What two fine looking athletes we have here tonight. Definitely a matchup that uh, must have put a lot of thought into this one here. Uh, Edge Stone taking on Demos here tonight. And of course, as always in his corner, Teal Piper. You see her there already in the ring. You know, you have to wonder if the Piper curse will be carried over to Demos now that they're affiliated in the House of Heathens. The, the Piper curse? Yeah, she never held a major title for man, but oh. had a lovely talking pattern. Edge Stone wants to get this thing underway and attacking Demos from behind. Definitely not the type of sportsman-like conduct we're used to seeing from Edge Stone as Demos reverses it there and strikes the clothesline and comes back with a big drop kick there. Well, I mean, let's be honest, Edge Stone is just sick and tired of being underrated. I mean, he's a tremendous athlete. Look, look at how high he gone up for that drop kick. I have to agree with you. Well, I don't know who's underrating Edge Stone. I mean, he's uh, I've heard the here. things you say. Now, wait a minute. He's coming here and made quite an impression on everyone in an SWE and yours truly included. Amos off for a wow, clothesline. Nearly knocking the head off of Edge Stone. Well, you know, say what you want about Demos, and I know you will. I will not. He's a, a fine competitor, but I think, I think he's not been quite this evenly matched. Ooh, beautiful DDT right in the middle of the ring. He's not been this evenly matched uh, since uh, he squared off with uh, uh, one of my fellows. And uh, whoop, wait a minute, your, your oh, fellows. Look at huge. this. Wow, vertical suplex there. Do you know what we have here more than any place in the world? A lot of wrestling. Yeah. We have wrestling. Texas was built on wrestling. And we talked about the Texas tournament I was looking up the Texas champions. Vern Gagne, Luthez, Buddy Rogers, Pat O'Connor, Danny McShane. <laughs> the list went on and on and on of guys that used the Texas belt to become the world champion. Did you see the brilliance of Edge Stone using Teal Piper to distract Demos and then cunningly stepping out of the way and taking advantage of Demos' distraction. That's brilliant. And that distraction leading to uh, a little pain in the lower back there for Demos and uh, Edge Stone taking advantage of that, capitalizing on that injury to the lower back there. Wow. <laughs> a little bit of attitude from Edge Stone here. It's forearm to the head. Here he goes. I was whipped oh. into the other corner. Wow. Oh, the momentum with which he fired Demos into that corner. Ooh. A lot of muscle in that ring right now. The only thing I can find wrong with Edge Stone, a little bit too much showboating when you got a guy hurt. It's like uh, you got to go when you got a guy 
the size of Demos, when you get him down, you can't back up and pose. No time for that in an SWE Fury ring. You, you, you're, you're right, Kevin. And you know, perhaps he could benefit from some guys who pinfall. You know, somebody to. Oh, really? Stand, stand there. Who next would you, to. Who would you think that could be? I mean, there's a list of, of tremendous, tremendous uh, guides, guides that, that guides. could lead Mr. Stone in, in the direction. Like a guru is what you're Yes, I'm like about. a guru. I don't, I don't think. I don't think that's what he's getting at. Oh, wow. Oh. It could have used a little, I don't know, guidance, uh, maybe management there. Perhaps uh, perhaps some uh, representation. Represent yeah. Something. Representation. That's a good word. Oh, wow. Close line of the back elbow, taking Stone off his feet now. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen a clothesline quite as thick as that. Good grief. The Ooh. arms on Demos. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh, and we talked about him stopping the pose when he had Demos hurt. He gave him enough to come back. Come on, you don't make mistakes like that here no, no, at no. SWE Fury. You're absolutely right, Mr. Sullivan. Oh, look at the end. Whoa! Swing it. Uh oh. Look at this. Well, wait a minute. Stone using the rope there. And I don't very, think the referee saw it. Not at all, but very clever on the part of Edge Stone. I never saw that one coming. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, Edge Stone. Stone. Good grief. Bob, did you see that one coming? I did not see yeah. that one coming. I wonder what Mr. Stone's contracts say. Oh, Nigel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North Texas, get ready. SWE Fury presents North Texas Fury Fest Saturday, June 19th at the Irving Convention Center in Irving, Texas. Enjoy live, in-your-face, Texas-style pro wrestling. A few of the superstars you can see and meet are WWE Hall of Fame members Kevin Nash, Teddy Long, Bushwhacker Luke, all the SWE champions, Big Kaz XL, Milena, Enzo, The Boogeyman, Lacey Von Erich, Mel Muertes, and many others. For more information and tickets, visit SWEFury.com. Bam Bam off again. Uh oh, wait a minute. Nigel grabbed Anderson. What was he grabbing Anderson for? Oh, wait a minute. I think he thought he was getting Malone, but he didn't. And Malone. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match. Bam Bam Malone. Bam Bam taking advantage of a little full paw on the uh, part of Nigel Rabbit there to get the win against Andrew Anderson, and Anderson is incensed. I've got plans, I've got machinations, yeah, everything is going to according care. to plan. Andrew! <laughs> Great work tonight, Andrew. Really, you should be very proud of yourself. <laughs> My neck hurts like hell. I think that's the first time in, in history that a client's ever been sucker punched by his attorney, but you know what? I think that's a direct violation of attorney-client privileges. Nigel Rabbit, I paid a lot of money for that attorney, not you. And to have him sucker punch me, that's the way it's gonna be. That's the way it's gonna be. I'll see you in Irving, Texas on June 19th. And ladies and gentlemen, it's been building for quite some time. Let's take a look right now at how we got to where we are with Ryan Mantel and Max Castellanos. Ryan Moonshine Mantel. Well, he's got the.
the monitor. The monitor. Tony is trying to save him. Where? Using him. Oh, oh God! He hit him Wait with a the minute. monitor. This is going way too far. This no, is what happened? No, good oh green. God! He just broke a freaking TV over his back. What does he have here? What does he have? A glass? Is that a well, glass? Wasn't there? What is Wait, what is this? No, no, that's, no. A, that's a that's bottle of bleach. That's clean. He's oh, spraying oh, oh, in his eyes. Oh, he's spraying oh, the bleach oh, in his oh, eyes. Oh. Do we not have anybody who can stop this thing? What is that? Do, do you see that? Castellano has got that lighter fluid. What is he doing with it? Oh, no. Hey, no. 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 He's trying to light a lighter. He's got a lighter. It's lit. Oh, security. Security is in. Security is in. Okay. Mantell is now up on the ring. Hey, look out! Massive dive! And that cage match is coming up next here on SWE Fury. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you could please clear the ringside area. Don't let it. Nice and easy. North Texas, get ready. SWE Fury presents North Texas Fury Fest Saturday, June 19th at the Irving Convention Center in Irving, Texas. Enjoy live, in-your-face, Texas-style pro wrestling. A few of the superstars you can see and meet are WWE Hall of Fame members Kevin Nash, Teddy Long, Bushwhacker Luke, all the SWE champions, Big Kaz XL, Melina, Enzo, The Boogeyman, Lacey Von Eric, Mel Muertes, and many others. For more information and tickets, visit SWEFury.com. Gentlemen making his way to the ring from Mexico City, Mexico. He is El Chingon in Texas. Max Castellano. Oh, welcome back here to SWE Fury. This thing is underway. These guys haven't even made it to the cage yet. Kevin Sullivan, Bob Mullen, joined by Nigel Rabbit. And this is exactly the problem that I've got with Moonshine Mantel. I mean, for God's sake, can't even let for, let, let the man get into the to the cage, into the ring to do this proper cage match, and already just oh, oh, good grief! Oh, that chair that Castellano brought out here, wrapped in barbed wire, being used as a weapon by Moonshine Ryan Mantel, and uh, this thing is, I guess, underway. They're not even in the cage yet. I don't know that it could be considered on the way. I mean, don't you have to be in the cage for it a cage is. match to start? I would think so. Kevin Sullivan, the expert on oh. this, uh, oh. give us the best you can, the rules here, well, you, Kevin Sullivan. You've got to be at the cage for the cage to start. Nigel is right about this. But the horrible thing is, these are two of the brightest stars for the future pro wrestling, and one of them or both of them aren't going to be the same when they get out of this cage. That's a, that's a terribly sobering thought. Well, now they are uh, fighting outside the cage before they even have a chance to get in the ring. And we've shown you how far this goes back. And and Castellano, let's not, you know, there's fighting. Oh. Fighting is one thing. But Castellano is used as weapons. Let's recount some things here. TVs, leather straps, bleach. You name it, it's been used by Castellano as a weapon. No, against... no, no, Bob, no, no. don't forget he tried to light him on fire. Okay, first, fire, fire. First, first of all, the bleach is a cleansing agent. He was trying to protect Moonshine Mantel from COVID-19. The president said that too, right? Yes, yeah. yes, it's a cleansing agent. 
it protects against COVID-19. That is exactly what Max Castellanos was doing, was trying to protect Moonshine. Fire is also a cleansing agent for a, a viral disease. So, no, all Max was doing was trying to protect Moonshine Mantel, and this is the thanks that he's gotten can, for Can it. I make the most definitive statement right tonight? This isn't sports entertainment. Uh, no, this is a uh, This, this is, is a Texas wrestling. <sighs> and yeah. Max is split up already, and that's what I was worrying about. This isn't going to get, it isn't going to stop. It's going to get worse as it goes on. <sighs> Mantel was thrown into those ring steps there. He might be bloodied on his own. I, looks like a little bit there. I can't tell. Uh, maybe, no, not oh, yet. They're going in the cage. I think oh, no. we're going to get there real soon. Oh, no. They're oh. in the cage now. This thing is underway officially, ladies and gentlemen. All we need Where's is the bell to ring. Where's Max going? Oh, Max is going to go get his chair. Oh, uh, Moonshine shouldn't have attacked from behind. I thought he was going to go ring the bell for us. Now he's got to be in the ring as well. Oh! Spear and Mantel is back. These two guys are fighting in the ring and now in the steel cage. Ooh. Oh, good grief. Oh, my goodness. You, you know, that's how I lost the use of my right eye. One of those prongs that stick up got Ooh. me. Oh. Head first into that steel cage. My goodness, this is, this is what it's come to, guys. And let's, let's think about what we've seen. I mean, we, I believe all three of us were there when Max Castellanos uh, utilized bleach as a cleansing agent to protect Moonshine Mantel. <laughs> you, you have a, a, a way of distorting the truth that is unlike any I've ever heard. Have bleach. you ever asked Max Castellanos why he used bleach? The Did man you ever once ask? See for a month. He had to have an eye patch. He couldn't see out of that eye that, for a that's month. That's his fault for opening his eye. You don't open your eyes underwater if you know the water is contaminated. All Max was doing was trying to protect him. He was around all of those people in Irving, Texas, and you know about those people. Oh, good grief. We're knee-deep in it right now, folks. I'm going to get out of this. Let's get back to what's going on in the oh. ring, which is Mantel running head first into that cage. He was going for another spear and uh, sidestepping and providing a little extra momentum was Castellanos. Brilliant, brilliant maneuver by Castellanos. I hate to say uh, disparaging words but uh, to the referee, but that chair doesn't need to be in the ring, does it? I mean... Do you want to take it away from Max Castellanos? Yeah. I mean, Not me. Yeah, right so me. that's my... Oh! Oh! Turnabout, I guess, is fair play. Max Castellanos just waffling the head of Moonshine Mantel. Great sights and sounds brought to you by our great crew here in SWE Fury. And Castellanos climbing. Trying to make his way out. Up into the rafters here of Eddie Dean's Ranch. A building that if they go ahead and tear it down tonight, it might actually help because, uh, oh, going away. Last, last live event to be held in this building, folks. And what a final hoorah it is for Eddie Dean's. Oh, Ooh. these guys are fighting at the top of the cage. High above the fans here. Oh! In downtown Dallas. What a fall. The year isn't over yet, and this is the feud of the year. Maybe the feud of the decade. These guys. And the decade's barely started, and I don't think I could argue against that. I mean, this has been just amazing. You know what the problem is? They're a mirror image of one another. In, in, in several ways, I completely agree, but. Uh, Max Castiglione is using the great equalizer. Yes. Bob, if you had to pick a winner, who would you pick right now? I would say that Mantell is due a win. But you, you probably made the best statement I've heard referring to these guys, and it really it's, it's kind of had me sitting over here in thought for quite a while, is that they're mirror images of each other. 
And maybe that therein lies the conflict, Kevin Sullivan. Yes. Sometimes, you know what? You know what happens when you try to put the two positive sides of the magnet together. Right. They repel each other. And and that may be <laughs> exactly what we're looking at right here. Castellanos Mantel. Oh, oh wow! Beautiful backstabber right in the middle of the ring. I mean, every move they make isn't a wrestling move to pin somebody, it's to hurt. I mean, his back is not gonna be right. Uh, oh, now he's going for the chair. This is, he's not, he's trying to end the career. They both are trying to end each other's career, which is kind of sad. Oh, good grief, right into the gut with the rim of that steel chair wrapped and it looks like still at least one wire, that barbed wire that was brought to the ring by Castellanos, but turned quickly into a weapon by Mantel. Double clothesline there. These two men <laughs> fighting in the steel cage. This crowd, every one of them on their uh, feet. On their feet. I was just gonna say that, Bob. Look at them, they're all, they're all in captive by this match as we are as fights as feuds as these type of rivalries go the entire thing has been captivating it's been something that that has uh, drawn attention worldwide to swe fury you know we brought in a lot of a lot of big stars over the past year but the thing that's brought in people to watch has been this feud here between these two guys these two guys have been Ooh. fighting and, and cutting a swatch all across texas and tonight hopefully Hopefully, closing the book on this. And they've elevated each other. Absolutely. You know, we, we, were, we brought in a lot of big stars in SWE Fury, but these two men right here, they are stars that made themselves within the ranks of SWE Fury. I don't think anyone in their right mind could argue against that. You're absolutely right, both of you. This is, uh, people are gonna say, well, I saw him when. Right? Ooh, spine buster there by Mantel. Beautiful exclamation point. Good oh. grief. One, two. We almost had a three count of pin right in the middle of the ring. It, and I see that Mantel has a little bit more energy tonight than he's had before. He, look at, he's really, really reaching in he wants us over with. He wants to walk out and be the better man. Hey, if I could point out too, guys, uh, Mantel, you know, going for a clean win right there with a pin in the middle of the ring. Uh, and, and in almost every instance, we've seen Castellanos using some sort of weapon, some sort of bleach, some sort of something to hurt and put Mantel out of the business. I know these guys have been fighting, but when it came to the match, Mantel tried to put an end to it there with a pin in the middle of the ring. And then, then of course, Castellano's doing the same thing there in return. This, if you go back to when this originally started, it started with a chair shot with Mantel's head against the ring post. Took him out on a stretcher. And he's taken injury after injury, so has a max. That's why I'm afraid that no matter what happens, Ooh. I said, this is like Ali Frazier, the third fight. Neither one of them came out of here. Any, uh, that, that ended both of his careers, basically. Yes, a career shortening match this is here in SWE Fury tonight. Now, that, not to disagree, but I want to point out the, the, the slamming of the head. Oh, look at this. Wow, beautiful reversal. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 that's my boy. That's, oh, oh, steel oh. oh. chair, barbed wire, two, three, oh. and the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, Moonshine Mantel. Wow. Wow. Ryan Mantel coming out victorious tonight here. Wait, who's this? Who's wait, this? somebody's wait. opening the cage door. Who is that? I can't really tell. It's Charlie. Charlie that, yeah. That's Charlie Hawks. What is he doing?
He's, 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 chaining. he's chaining the cage door shut. What is he doing? Why is Charlie Haas here and why is he chaining the door shut? This this doesn't bode well. No. Uh, Mantell, after Man. fighting, uh, is trying to get back to his feet. Uh, Castellanos is out there laid out on the back on his back with barbed wire all stuck in his back. What's going on here? Charlie Haas is Charlie stalking. looks like he's sizing up Moonshine Mantell. We're in a steel cage. It's now locked. Thanks to Charlie Haas. Can someone come out here and stop this? This is not good. Mantel just went through very, hell. Oh, Charlie's oh, got the no. chair. No, this isn't good. Look, I've known Charlie for years. This is this is not a good situation for Moonshine Mantel to be in. He shouldn't be in the first of all. He, he, Wait a minute. Oh, Rodney's here. Who is that? Rodney Mack is in the ring now. Oh, Rodney good. Mack is oh. here. Good. And anticipated that. that well, we've got Rodney Mack in the ring. He pushes away Castellanos there, who's still reeling from that slam onto that chair wrapped in barbed wire. What, what are these guys doing in the ring? And what do they have to do with this? Rodney Mack in the ring, seeming to back off Charlie Haas. If there's anybody on the roster that could give Charlie a run for his money, yeah. it's going to be Rodney Mack. Yeah, wow, he's holding him off. Charlie poking the beehive there. Not so sure that's the right thing to do. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, whoa. Oh, good throw. What the oh, hell? What the whoa. hell? What the hell is he doing? Whoa. Rodney Mack goes in for a hug there. And belly to belly. Oh, what? wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What is going what on? What is this? What? Come what on. Is, Come so, on. Send somebody it, down. What is this crap? Yeah, this is not right. Oh. Oh, oh Alex Moraza's oh. down. Oh. oh. The what? What is this crap? They're trying to end this kid's career. They're trying to, the three of them are trying to end this kid's career. Castellano couldn't do it on his own, huh? Couldn't do it on his own. It's taking the three of them, our two champs. Look, let's be honest, guys. If there's anybody that has proven that he is a challenger for, uh, oh! Whoa. Referee Soda Hendricks in to try to calm things down. That doesn't take long to dispatch of him there as Haas goes to kicking him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. Rodney oh. Mack slamming the referee. What is oh. this? What the hell is going on? Look, if there is anybody that was a threat to the World Television Championship, to the World Heavyweight Championship, who's Moonshine Mantell, this is just smart tactics. They're trying to crush the serpent in the egg, that's for sure. We have a mess in the ring. We have referees who are knocked out. We have a beaten and battered Ryan Mantell. We have Rodney Mack showing his true colors here tonight. But let's not overlook one thing, Bob. Mantell did win the match, but he paid a very heavy, heavy price. I think these guys, I don't know what joined them together except greed and envy. Well, two, two of the deadly sins. Mantell may have won the match tonight, but I fear that whatever these three guys are doing together here in this ring has just started a war. Right. Oh! Just... Oh, they're just stomping a mud hole in them. Oh. Now, it seems that Mantell's gonna have to be carried out of here as these three guys in the ring, Castellano, Rodney Mack, and Charlie Haas, two of these guys are champions. SWE Fury heavyweight champion, and, and now what the, what, oh. is that, 
Is that Selena De La Renta in the ring right now? Yeah. What is she doing in there? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Please bow down and welcome Privilege! Privilege? Privilege? What does that mean? The what does it them, mean? What does it mean the three of them are together? What does it mean? And who are these people? What are they doing here? What, this is the uh, the joining of the crazies. Is this what it is? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope well, to get some explanation from this. If you all didn't understand what she said, this is the baddest faction in pro wrestling right now. You got Red Dog. Rodney Mac, Mac Cassiano, you have the real world champion, Charlie Haas. And you have the brains, you have Selena. Bow down, because we are known as the privilege. Wow, I am completely baffled. This is going to turn SWE Fury upside down. And I've never heard Nigel Rabbit speechless. Thoughts, sir? All I know is this bodes very poorly for a lot of people. Even you, maybe, Nigel. Even no, you. It's, it's very kind you're concerned, Mr. Sullivan. Ominous words there from Kevin Sullivan and an ominous sight in the ring as these four have joined together. Castellano, De La Renta, Haas, and Mac. Privilege is now a thing here in SWE Fury.